This is going to be my third and final video of my comparison between the Saddleback Classic Briefcase, the large size in dark coffee brown, compared to the Texpo Real Thick Cowhide Leather Men's Shoulder Briefcase Fit 17 inch laptop bag tote. And this final video is essentially just the sum of the differences between the two bags. Um, I originally wasn't planning on doing this video, but I actually think it is uh, far more appropriate now. Um, this Saddleback is a bag that's gonna go back. There have been some production issues I pointed out in a previous video. So I don't think it's fair to compare a new Texco to a Saddleback that's not in its prime. So once it gets replaced, you will have a head-to-head -head new, ver new versus new. Right now it's a new versus old. And I think this new versus old is really appropriate because some of the biggest concerns of the Texpo bag that exists is the quality of the production, the quality of the materials, and how long this will last for. Because $200 isn't a small amount of money, but $200 in the world of leather briefcases is a complete steal and incredibly cheap. But if it's incredibly cheap and only lasts you six months, definitely not worth it. After two years, this bag is still going strong. And if I had not uh, decided to start using the Saddleback, um, this would easily last another two or four years. However, I have the Saddleback and this one will probably be getting retired and probably going to another family member or just sitting as a backup in case I ever go anywhere where I'm a little bit nervous carrying around a $700 plus bag. Um, the other part about this comparison is a little bit unfair is clearly the pricing between the two bags. The Saddleback um, is four times or almost four times as much as the Texpo and that makes the comparison slightly unfair. You know, it's the equivalent of comparing a Ferrari to a Corvette. However, a Corvette, though cheaper, is still extremely well built and does what it's supposed to do pretty darn well. And I feel like the Texpo is a very appropriate comparison to this. It's hanging out and hanging on to the big leads that they're com competing against and doing extremely well doing it. Um, this is not the only classic briefcase-like bag I've had. I've had ones from other um, makers as well. This is the one that I've ever felt recommending as a competitor to the Saddleback because I feel like given its price and not everyone can afford Saddleback prices, this gives you a lot of bag for the money. Now, it's not as good. The leather isn't as thick, you know. It's the individual pieces. There's obviously areas where they cut corners by lining the inside with a different material, not using clear all leather, where they patch together pieces of leather rather than using full pieces of leather on the gussets. And along the back where you can't see it, but behind this folder here, there are two separate pieces of leather sewn together. So those cost saving measures, as well as likely the countries in which they are produced, have come out with two bags one that's a little bit more of a compromise, and one that is really pure to a great high quality leather bag. However, I can't help but point out again that the Texville bag is an incredible deal. But if what you really, really want is a beautiful leather bag and you have the money and you can afford it, you can't really go wrong with the Saddleback. And though people will likely cross shop the two, I think even those that buy the Texpo, if they had the means and they had the way to do it, probably would have ended up with a Saddleback anyways. However, if like me, years and years ago, you were not unable to afford the Saddleback, this is a great bag. This stays very true to what Saddleback was trying to create when they made, came out with their first bag. Second thing about this bag is the leather. This bag is far, far more collapsible. And on day one, the leather is really soft and moves around. And you'll see this more with my first video. It's easy for parts of this bag to fold together, for the gussets to fold together. The Saddleback just doesn't do that. It holds its shape really well. Um, if you talk to some leather people, they will tell you, and this is true, that much thicker leather, much higher quality leather will naturally do this. It will hold its shape much, much better. However, in terms of usability in a bag, that also presents a lot of challenges. It means the footprint of this bag, no matter how much is in it, 
is always going to be large. And you will always have to contend with the fact that you may have bought a bag for its potential maximum capacity, but there is also a minimum size footprint that comes with that. While with the Texpo, you get almost the same maximum capacity with a footprint that is far, far smaller. I will say, uh, my friends that are into leather bags, uh, no one has ever mistaken the Texpo for a saddlebag. Very clearly, people who know their bags and know their leather know that the Texpo is not a saddlebag. To almost everyone else, um, all my other family members, um, a lot of my coworkers, they don't really get the difference between the two bags. To the layman, the two bags are very similar. One is four times more. The equation is an incredibly easy equation. Buy four of the cheaper bag if you really love leather bags. However, you talk to someone who is crazy about leather bags, they will tell you four textbooks does not necessarily equal a saddlebag. Given this information, moving forward, what will I do? Um, if I was not able to afford the saddlebag and I wasn't in a financial position to be able to use it, I would be incredibly happy with my textbook and I would continue to use my textbook for years and years on end. However, I've been lucky enough to be able to afford a very, very nice leather bag that is essentially a splurge and something I don't necessarily need, but really, really do want. So going forward, I will likely be using the saddleback. That does come with the caveat that um, the repairs and the replacement or either the repaired bag don't have the issues that existed in my previous videos. If it holds up to the quality of saddleback that has been reflected, in almost 99% of their online reviews, every other YouTube video that's out there, I think I'm gonna be incredibly happy with it. I think this particular bag was an anomaly and I wanna give Saddleback the opportunity to fix that. So these last three videos were essentially to hold you over until the new Saddleback and the new Texpo arrive at my door. Um, I won't be ordering the Texpo until I get the new Saddleback because I don't really just want it to sit in my house without it being used. So whenever the saddleback is repaired or replaced and comes back, you will have a head-to-head -head comparison. Now, I will say, if given the opportunity to replace this bag, I may go with a slightly different color, and I am thinking of possibly going with the um, front pocket briefcase. Not the thin one, but the regular one, also in large. I haven't quite decided. So you may end up with a video of two different bags being compared, and I'll try my best to make them as close as possible, but this may be the only comparison we get of head-to-head -head of the exact same leather bag. I'm not quite sure yet, haven't made up my mind.